Hello. Uh, today we're going to factor an expression like 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. Okay, I want you to uh, notice here that if it wasn't because of this 3, if I just had this expression, the same expression, but without the 3, this would be a very simple factorization where I have to look for the factors of positive 8 that when I add them, I get positive 14. That's an easy factorization and I have another video for that kind of factorization. But I do have this three in front of the x squared and that makes a difference. And for that, we're going to use the following thing. I'm going to write a big X here. We are going to use these three numbers that we have here, the three, the 14 and the eight. I'm going to uh, name this uh, number so just to make it a little bit more clear. The three, I'm going to call it A. The 14, I'm going to call it B. The eight, I'm going to call it C. So on top of the X, I'm going to write the multiplication of A times C, which is three times eight, and eight times three is 24. And in the bottom of the of the x, I'm going to write b number, and for b, I have 14. Okay, so here, for this number that I found, 24, I will need to look for the factors of 24, and that when I add those two factors, I should get positive 14. So let's look for factors of 24. I'm going to write here factors of 24. Well, I will always have 24 times 1. That's 24. Uh, 12 times 2. That's 24. Uh, 8 times 3 is 24. And 6 times 4 is 24. I don't think I'm missing any factors. Factors is two numbers that when you multiply them, you get a number. Those are the factors. Okay, so now... Let's see, factors of 24 that when I add them, I get 14. All of these pairs of numbers here, if I multiply them, I get 24. But which pair will work if when I add them, I should get positive 15? Only 12 and 2, right? If I add them, I get 24. If I, I mean 14, and if I multiply them, I get 24. So those are my two factors. I'm going to write them one to the left of the X and the other one to the right of the X. Now, these two numbers that I just found, these two factors, I'm going to divide them by the number here that is causing me all of this problem because if it wasn't because of these three, this would be a pretty easy factorization. So I'm going to divide them by three. Now I have two fractions. If these fractions, if it's possible to simplify them, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And yes, this one, I can simplify it by 3 because 12 and 3 are both divisible by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, I'm going to write uh, this new fraction here. 4 and 1 and 2 over 3. With these two fractions, I'm going to write my factorization. Uh, with 4 over 1, I'm going to write the parentheses on the left side. And with 2 over 3, I'm going to write the parentheses to the right side. Okay. So, the numbers that are in the denominator will be the numbers that will go in front of the x. So, there. The numbers in the denominator in front of the x. So, one here and three here. And then the numbers that are on top will be the numbers that will go to the right of the X there. Okay, so plus four and plus two. Now one times X is just X, right? So I can just write this as X plus four and 3x plus 2. And that's my factorization 
for this expression. Okay, I hope you like this video. Bye.